with with Psalm 127, verse 3. Read me, read for me. Yeah, what I read? Go? Yeah, go ahead. The Lord. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Children the are inherited from God. Uh huh. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Thank you. Now, he said, children are inherited from God. Children are gifts from God, given to you and I. The children, they are not for you. The children is for God. And he has given the children to you. So that you will take care of the children. For him, God. Like the way God wants. You see? Now, we, we, we are not going to spend much time today. Take me to Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. Verse 37. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. And I read, He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Good. Now stay there. You see, why Jesus Christ said this to the disciples? We are going to find out the reason why Jesus Christ said this in Matthew chapter 10, verses 37. We are going to find the reason why. Because many people love their families more than God. And anyone who do that, God said, you can never go to heaven. So, now we are going to find out the reason why God said that if you love your children or you love your, your spouse or you love your parents, more than God, you can never go to heaven. Go to um, Genesis chapter. Um, let me see. Genesis chapter three, verse six to seven. Genesis chapter three, verse six verse to seven. seven. So when the woman saw the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant. To the eyes and the tree desirable to make one wise he took of its fruit and ate she also gave to her husband with her and he ate verse 7 then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sealed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings okay thank you very much you see here God warned Adam that Adam, please don't eat this fruit. The day you eat this fruit, you will die. But Adam, God didn't tell the Eve, the woman, but He told Adam. But when the serpent, the devil came to deceive the woman, the woman ate, nothing happened to them. But when he she gave some to the husband Adam and he he ate something happy, they became naked, they died spiritually. God left them because why they disobeyed God. God has warned Adam, Adam, don't eat this. But Adam loved his wife more than God. That is the reason why Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. Because why? He has seen that many of you guys, they love their spouse more than God. So he refers them in Genesis. You see, God has warned you, Adam. Adam, don't eat it. So when the serpent came and convinced the girl or the, the, the woman. And the woman also told Adam, Adam should have asked God that God, please, the tree you said we shouldn't eat. That tree, my wife ate, nothing happened to her. So please, can I eat? Adam should have asked permission.
from God. But he did it. He didn't ask permission from God. God has warned him not to eat. But he obeyed his wife more than God. That is what is happening this time. God will tell us, don't do this. But because the, the, um, the, the men, they love their wife. Because the men, they love their children. Because the women, they love their children. Because the women, they love their husband more than God. Jesus said, anyone who do that can never go to heaven. So today I am here to explain this for people to understand. That do love your children more than God. The moment you love your children more than God, God will never let you see him. You see, when you have the children, God has given you, as it's written in um, Psalm 127, verse 3, that children are inherited from God. God has given the children for Johnny Boy to raise the children for him. So when we have, we have the children, what do we got to do? We need to obey God first. If God said he don't like this, we shouldn't have to do that one for our children. If God said he don't love this, but your child said, oh, don't worry, daddy, I need it, I need this. You know that what your son or your daughter is requesting God don't like it. God don't, God, God don't accept it. You know it. But you rather do it for your children because why? You love your children more than God. And God says to tell you, if you love your children more than God, you can never see him. You see? So, if any time your children will tell you, Daddy, I need this. And you know that when you do it for him, it's a sin. Because God don't like it. Don't do it. Let your children know that, yes, you are the father. You control them. They don't control you. Because if you let your children control you, it means heaven, you can never enter there. So are you going to lose your salvation because of your children? Or you are going to lose your child and go to heaven? Which one are you going to choose? You see? So please, we are going to read more stuff in the Bible for you to know what I am talking about. Now, many people, when their children are living with them, look at some of the dressing they dress in public. Yesterday, I saw something as more. And but I near cry. A certain guy with his parents and he had a earring and his nose, earring and his ear. His hair is like oh my god. And his pants. Oh Africa you call it a pair of trousers. The torn one, the one has been cut into pieces like the one they used to go to farm. Let, oh, hold on, let me show you some pictures for you to know. If your children is dressing something like this, it means you love your children more than God and God is going to punish you. You can never ha inherit the kingdom of heaven. Now, let us see something here. Let us see something here. Now, look at the screen. Look at the screen. People get money to buy this dirty clothes. Farm, me, I call it farmer clothing. Farming, it's for farming. When you go to farming, even farming, you won't wear this. <laughs> this one, some of the parents allow their children dress like this. 
and they follow their parents and their parents watching them and you are telling me you are a Christian please let us change our mind that's why today God has chosen me to tell the truth to our people so that we will make sure that we will love God more than our children because if you buy this for your child it means you hate God because God don't like this type of dressing because God said dress modest and dress modest is that how we dress oh my god now let's see another another uh, uh, picture let's see another picture look this one people wear this why why even if you are not a christian why not wear this for what this one when you wear this pant you are going to farm to go and win. This is for farming. It's not in public. This is from the devil. It's not from God. Let's go to another one. Look at this. This. And the parents allow their children dress like this and follow them. That's why yesterday I saw one at the mall and I was crying. You will love your children more than God. Is that how God wants us to dress? God said he don't want us to see our self-nakedness. You see? Now, um, oh, hold on. Let's see another one. Look, look, this one. And people get money to buy this for their children. And you tell me you are a Christian. How can you be a Christian? God said dress modest. Don't expose yourself and look at the dressing. And people also buy for their children. So it means you are fighting with God. God said you should dress modest. And you are doing this for a child. It means you love your children more than God. If your child says, No, daddy, I love this. Please, daddy. Don't listen to your child. No. Don't listen to your children. But rather listen to God. Don't be like Adam. Don't be like Adam. Adam listened to his wife and rejected God. Adam loved his wife more than God. That's why God left them. So are you going to love your children and let God left you? Leave you? That's what you want? That's why I am here. To tell you. To change your lifestyle. Don't love your children more than God. Don't love your children more than God. Whatever your child is asking you, you know that this is not the right thing for your child because God hates it. Don't do it for him or her. No. The moment you do for him or her, it means you love your children more than God. That's what Jesus Christ is saying in Matthew chapter 10, verse 27, uh, 37. If you love your children than God, heaven, you can never get there. Now go to another, another picture. Look at this. They spend money to buy this in public and buy it. What? Whew. Now, let the, I mean, um, take me to um, um, hold on. Um, take me to um, how do you call it? Um, let me see here. Uh, Exodus chapter 20 verse 26 Exodus chapter 20 verse 26 Exodus chapter 20 verse number 26 Nor shall you go up by steps to my altar that your nakedness may not be exposed on it Do you hear? God don't want people to see your nakedness but some pastors out there, they let their children be naked in public. That is why I am here to tell everyone, don't love your children more than God. Because you are exposing your children nakedness. God don't like anybody to be naked. You see, don't, God don't like anybody to be naked. So he's asking you and I that we should dress modestly. 
and your child is also looking for a, a cloth or a pant or a pair of trousers, which is not good, which has been torn, like farming, a, a, a farmer dress, like the way I showed earlier. You see, let, let me go back. Let me go back so you can see. You see, now you are, you are, you are buying a cloth like this for your child. It means you love your children more than God. Because why? God has said in what? Exodus chapter 20 verse 20, 20 says. That don't expose your nakedness. Don't let anybody see your nakedness. And now. Your child said that I need this dress. And you are buying this for your child. Make sure that. Tell your child that no. My son. My daughter. God said he don't like. For you to be exposed to your nakedness. So I'm not going to buy Whatever he do, don't 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 worry, don't don't mind your children, but love God first. Don't do this for your child. You see, don't do this for your child. Like this, no. If your child says I need it, don't do it because God hates this. God said, don't expose yourself. And now you are buying exposing clothing for your child. That is wrong. That's what Jesus Christ is saying, is telling me, you and I, that don't love your children more than God. Like the way Adam loved his wife more than God, and God rejected him. So don't let God reject you as a Christian, as a child of God. Make sure that you are doing the right thing for your children. So now people are going to learn something from the clothing, how we buy clothing for our children. Now let me tell you something. I think 2017 or so. I think 2016 or 2017. You know, okay. I have a son called Jimmy Bob, and his mother is a white. You know, I had a car study on him. I had a car study on him when my son was three and a half years, and I've read my son. So 2019, when the COVID came. And, you know, I asked him, you know, he, I mean, yeah. I, I, and he went back home and we went back to his mother. Now, the thing is, when he was with me, every summer, he go and visit his mother for three months, every summer. And one day, he went to visit his mother. When he came back home, he was having some new clothing. When I looked at the bag, I saw this type. Uh, let me show this. Hold on. I saw this type. Let me show this. Um, I saw this type of clothing. I mean, th these are clothes. Four of them in his bag. And I was like, what is this? He said, it's for, it's for me. I said, it's for you? He said, yeah, I said, who bought it for you? He said, my grandma. He said, your grandma bought you this dress? He said, yes. And he said, me, I will not allow this in my house. He said, that's why I said, no. This is for evil thing. This is from the devil. Why you have to wear clothes like this in my house? It can never work. I love God more than you. I don't love you more than God. He, was, he thought I was joking. He thought I was joking. Let me come back. Let me come back here. <laughs> let me come back here. Um, yeah, he thought I was joking. You know what I did? The four clothing, the grandma, his grandma bought the four clothing for him. It cost a lot of money. I trashed all of them. Oh, yes, I don't joke. <laughs> me, I love God more than my children. I love God more than my wife. My wife will tell you, <laughs> I don't play. <laughs> oh, yes. They call me and say, Johnny, you trash the money I spent to buy clothes for my children. I said, This is not for clothing. This is not clothing. This is what we use for farming. This is for farming. I am not going to allow this in my house. And my son is not going to wear this. And they want to take me to court. I said, I don't care. You can take him to court. I don't care. If the judge asks me, I will tell him the same thing. My house, not this. <laughs> They saw that yes, they admit a powerful man of God. You see, this is the time we need to stand firm for God. Don't love your children more than God. Your children wearing this type of
type of dressing and you are following your child, what is wrong with you? 